Bonds are a type of debt financing. Instead of going to a bank or a financial institution for a loan, a company can sell bonds to individuals or organizations. The company will repay the bondholders the amount of the bond, also called the face of the bond, as well as interest on the bonds. There are different types of bonds or characteristics of bonds. Bonds can be secured or unsecured. A bond that is secured is backed by collateral. The collateral is some type of asset and ensures the bondholder there is something to pay off the bond if the company does not have the cash to do so. An unsecured bond is not backed by collateral, but rather just by the reputation of the company alone. Unsecured bonds are also referred to as debenture bonds. Bonds can be term or serial. Term bonds are repaid all at a single maturity date. For example, a company issues a million dollars in bonds that will be due in 10 years. The company will repay the million dollars at the end of 10 years. Serial bonds are repaid in installments rather than at one time. For example, the company issues those million dollars in bonds, but instead of being due in 10 years, they will repay $100,000 each year for the next 10 years. Bonds can be callable. This means that the company can pay them off early, before their maturity date. Bonds can also be convertible. This means that instead of repaying the bonds with cash, the bonds can be converted into shares of the company's stock. Assume a company issues $100,000 in bonds. It may or may not receive $100,000 in cash. There are three possible scenarios. The first scenario, the company could get $100,000 for the bond issue. This would be issuing the bonds at face. The company would debit cash for $100,000 and credit bonds payable for $100,000. The second scenario, the company could get less than $100,000. This would be issuing the bonds at a discount. The company would debit cash for the amount they received. Let's assume it was $95,000. Debit discount on bonds payable for $5,000 and credit bonds payable for $100,000. The third scenario, the company could get more than $100,000. This would be issuing the bonds at a premium. The company would debit cash for the amount they received. Let's assume $110,000. Credit bonds payable for $100,000 and credit premium on bonds payable for $10,000. The company doesn't get to pick which scenario they fall into. That is determined by a comparison of the rate of interest paid on the bonds with the market rate of interest. But let's save that topic for another day.